Yeah, I think it is recording this uh, sequence. I should uh, entitle compilation, 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 complete completion, <clears throat> where I see more people turning from looking at the outside phenomena, uh, especially the new uh, technology that is being presented regarding uh, advancements in uh, science and technology. And we are told and educated to copy into those technologies. And the rest of the information that comes with it to present it to us as if it is useful and beneficial and it goes along with our evolution. So there is this huge, massive uh, campaign that uh, obviously, to me, it is uh, orchestrated by the AI and those who uh, affiliate themselves with it. You know, when you, when you look inward and you see it from a perspective of a sovereign sphere of intelligence, which you, if you want to take your uh, being as a sphere, if you want to take knowledge scattered around uh, around you, if you take the notion that you are in fact a being that is perceiving information and stuff only to repeat it, so within the, the consideration you should uh, by now recognize the fact that we are repeating information uh, without any basis to them. And that fact that we are able to copy and repeat and create ourselves an impression and then become hubs and share, share them further while it is a foreign uh, imposed information, you could ask yourself why, what is the motive for this information for those who are collecting and connecting to receive more of this technical technological information, what is their drive? Because their drive is the most important part, is the pivotal point by which they acquire, by which they ask for advancement and they receive, people receive what they think are advancement through many channels. And this formation, information is taking us astray from the most crucial point that we must grasp that we must you know get to grips with to cope with and that we are not ident not uh, recognized by our technology that we are not recognized uh, by the impression that we make if we are copying into other uh, impressions if you into other uh, species as, as they call themselves 
to the pro we are. Instead, it is our ability to comprehend and it's our ability to interpret which makes our sphere alive. When a child is growing into this environment with such a load of materials that are not his to copy and to then share and then to spread and then to create a, an artificial uh, culture. And what we have gathered until now is to fight or to resist or to accept and develop those uh, insertions into our sphere of consciousness, whether it's uh, the American president meeting with aliens on board of a ship and coming back with what? With more complications, with more hiding, because they cannot reveal it because it is embedded with this information that is not human, the inability to comprehend it and the inability to actually interpret it and develop on the base of it. So this is all bad stuff for us. It's like bad medicines. While our actual evolution is happening where we are confronting with one thing that we are not the information that we share, that we are capable of, of, of uh, absorbing all kind of stuff, but we have to become aware of how we absorb it and why we hold, we hold to information, why we are spreading information, such information, which is bad service. It is the service if you are not conscious of why you are doing it and what is the intentions of those who are doing this and who are you that receives this. So, <clears throat> more people now are coming to the point where they realize who they are, they are not, that they are not none of those descriptives that they are using for themselves Neither were they before in the old culture, and none, neither are they are we who copy into this, into the presumed new culture, the self uh, uh, positioned uh, uh, evolution, evolutionary that comes from the lowest types that we can uh, as human uh, contact because we are dealing with this type of information that looks to us like information, well, while it is not an information that we want as it is, you know, it's like taking food and not consuming it. We have to learn to consume it. So, I wanted to suggest uh, all the ways that are <clears throat> contributing to your sense of uh, of true beingness, whether they are masters, radical awakening masters, or they are oneness blessings, uh, servants, services, or they are DMT, or they are uh, ayahuasca, anything that will take us, us, us out of our grip, on the information, release us from the information, and when we are released of this field of information, we realize who we really are. <clears throat> and when one looks into who he really is, you know, you'll find on one side a void that they cannot contain, a void that is so profound that for most people is scary. For most people, it's a one moment to the one hour of experience with a master, with the taking of a, a enough dose of DMT or ayahuasca, or an awakening of 
another kind radical awakening by another person who wakes you up is possible because the awakening has the capacity also to transcend, to transfer from one to another like everything. It's a nature of, uh, it's a field of information that can be shared, a field of consciousness that can be shared. But for the one who wants to evolve, uh, it is essential that we practice and we experience more times with ourselves being the void, with ourselves being who we are, you know, and that can be achieved every time you revisit the information that is before you. And develop uh, means, spiritual means, hands and, and fingers and intellectual and emotional uh, spiritual attitude to this new information or to any information whatsoever. Now, to do it again, you must reverse from the affiliation, from the attachment with the information as information, no matter what information it is. And to do it, you again, I say it's practicing again and again with, you know, pulling yourself out or being pulled out. And it can be, for example, with the most simplest, the simplest material, every natural material, you do it. But DMT, DMT will do it as well. So people who have used DMT or ayahuasca more times or acid, or, you know, LSD, or any of those materials that will pull you out of your uh, inhabited, inhabit, in a, of habit of attachment to impressions or to understanding, those things that pull you out, this moment of, of uh, pulling away, of detachment from everything and being yourself, every time you do it, the more you're doing it, the more you uh, come together with being uh, yourself, being the void that you were once afraid of. And the less you are attached to pieces of information and the less you are serving as hub to those informations that are not in service to us. I would say that also that every uh, uh, literal or say literaturic, every ability to interpret that you have had about any material, if you once had an idea about uh, I don't know things that you read that uh, are very uh, that are very uh, you call it um, uh, authority where you read the Bible stuff and you read it or whatever you read it is sound very authoritar authoritarian for you including those new messengers if you could uh, discern them all those informations into your sphere of consciousness discern them so that you have you know, an, 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 a hold on them, that you can have a grip on them, that you have your personal, your personal uh, perception about them, because your personal perception and then your discernment and how does it serve you on a, on a, field, on a basis of your momentary field of consciousness, how much it is awakening you or does it only elude you into more ambition and more competition and more striving for outside information to come and you know kick you kick you up and you know reveal stuff for you? You know, so it is a gentle uh, gentle uh, line between the type of information, the information per se, and the way you hold on the information, the way you understand it. And the eyes, what I say is, the way you understand it, it adds to your sphere of uh, consciousness. The only the, the points where you understood it, and it add, adds to you. You know, it's not the information itself that adds so much to you. It adds too much to you in the sense that there are other things there that you don't understand, that they are 
showing you uh, pictures of uh, different moon bases and bases under the ground and it sounds wild enough what they are doing but that this is that that's the thing that they do it's not the thing that you do with this so you must guide yourself now based on the field of information that is created by your discernment you know in this field of information is based on your ability your innate inability it your innate ability to 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 cope with this material so any material whatsoever so if you look of the whole old field and you look of, of your projection you know how much your discernments discernments about those materials assist you in your sphere development that is your sphere is growing that it means that then when you discern it when you discern such weird information new information so where you discern it discern it you know personally individually based on your connection to source you know you call it so then the rest of your life blossoms you know this ability to discern this new information it will help your plants blossom it will help your technology which you you will use in your house your ability to develop technology your ability to interpret becomes art in itself and i <clears throat> just wanted to comment on the pictures on the artwork the, the sphere sphere beings uh, share through all the blue uh, avians share through uh, um, Corey Good, that those type of uh, art, they are available, available for humans, and humans have been painting uh, such uh, spiritual uh, portraits, you know, a long time before aliens have come to present themselves, only the, they, they, they use the same technique, which is, I call it, uh, it's a blind, uh, it's a blind technique that you, you can paint them with your eye closed, with your eye closed, because your hands, you know, your body, your sphere will create this imagery, you know, and then only then after the, the picture is done, if you painted a portrait, for example, so after this work is done, so later on you will be able to look at this work, because it takes time for the maker to appreciate what he's done, you know, need some progression of understanding of interpretation of the image, you know, so that you understand what is what you have you have done <clears throat> in general, which is very helpful if one has alternative uh, discipline uh, in which he develops uh, that can be uh, any art form that can be. Uh, uh, evolution of expression, you know, in itself that allows you to be more free, more uh, innov in, in, innovative, more uh, invent, you know, inventive, where you are more free, you know, to express your impressions. So, the best uh, way with DMT anyway, which I want to complete this, is once you experience those DMT experiences and you went out of your casual conception, out of casual uh, perception, is then you arrive to, 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 to avoid uh, and you did it once and once again, eventually your hope is to, to one day be able to rise to those frequencies, to buy, rise to this freedom without the help of the material, without the, the, the help of the DMT, that is that you live in void consciousness, you know, all the time, and you are nourished on the infinite cosmos, if you want to call it that, uh, instead of all those outside information, you have means to interpret them each time they arrive to you, you know, to check them really from your own source and see how it affects you because how it affected you is the material that you that is necessary for you to grow up. 
here, so it's a, it's a, it's a measure of closing and uniting and being the void that you are, you know, together with all the peels of personality that you have had in the past. It's not giving all your personality, all your perception away. You know, if you don't, if you want them, you, you can use them. If you don't want them, you don't need to use them, right? Because, yeah, you know what they are now because you have a perception, you have a, an atta det det detachment from all those fields. And the more you are able to perceive things anew each time, that means that you have refreshed, you rebooted, and you come to everything from the point of void, from the point of nothingness, you know, and you actually add to the field of everybody with your uh, individual uh, perceptions. Yeah. Yeah, so, so that was uh, quite uh, a message, I think. And uh, thank you for your watching me. I'm your San Pedro. Encantado verte otra vez. I'm happy to see you again. And until next time. Hasta luego. Ciao.